in this tutorial we're going to learn how to convert our civil um, image drawing how to use this information correctly in a Revit file so you can see I've set up this was georeference I've set up my aerial photograph to the correct location now I need to make sure that this image is the correct size in my Revit file please note that this is a meters drawing so you'll notice that these dimensions these exact dimensions won't work correctly you can see the scale factor this will not work so what we'll need to do in this instance I need to get the width of this image correct so X or Y because remember um, AutoCAD this is a meters drawing so I need to scale this also I'm gonna go to file save as I'm gonna call this image okay I put the image on layer 0 because layer 0 never really gets deleted make sure all of this is by layer by layer by layer okay I'm gonna use the delete layers tool so I'm going to delete all these layers quickly. Oh, sorry, make sure that your current layer is set to zero or your active layer. Then go to delete and I'm going to delete all the unnecessary information in this drawing. Okay, so now, good, get rid of the roads. Okay, so now I should just have, just remember you need to apply these settings. That is quite annoying. Okay, so that, 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 good and the roads good right, um, enter to finish and then you're gonna say yes okay good now you should only have one layer or that one we can delete as well okay we should just have one layer now all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna scale so I'm gonna scale everything and round the origin so shift at 0 comma 0 by 1000 okay okay now if I select this image and I press control 1 you'll notice I have some sizes here. So now in Revit, I've got my project file open and I'm gonna use my working view for this again because remember my working view is where I wanna do all the work. So site working. Okay, now I'm gonna make sure it's true north. Now I'm gonna go and say insert image. Okay, so you're gonna to go to insert. Okay, so now you can go and insert decals or images. Okay, you can link image. So technically this is only, you're actually gonna go and link the image rather. Okay, because technically you want to work with these images okay so let me just make sure I want to find that file quickly so it should be there give me a second It'll... okay so you're gonna go and find this aerial tiff and you're gonna open it okay so this is a large image so you'll see it'll come in now you need to get these dimensions correct so you can see the width and the height now you just have to get one direction you can lock the proportions and it'll be background in this instance and then we can move it to the right location. Okay, so this is a little tricky at times. So you can either do your trees in the view or you can do it outside of the view. So I'm just gonna go to AutoCAD very quickly and I'm gonna go and get, so at the top here, width, you're gonna grab that information, Control C, and you're gonna go back to Revit and you're gonna paste it in here, Control V. Now you can see this is exactly the right size and I can go to now I can move this image to the right location. Okay, so you can see you can really move this image and I know that my project corners over here so it's almost in place. Okay, and you can line it up to the roads. You'll see this will start working. You can use the nudge keys to get this correct. Okay, so I can move this information quite accurately. Just remember this is always, it's never gonna be 100% accurate but you're gonna try and get it as accurate as possible. So you can start capturing the trees but this has worked really well and I can switch this back on. Okay, now you can see that I can actually do a lot of work on this and yeah, use the image correctly. So that's a quick technique to use the AutoCAD file to get the image in so you can start drafting the information that you need.